Kabo Zulu. I'm a research scientist and a director from Madisei Ebo University College, which is here to ask a few questions about um, the different views of medical cannabis and the different um, sicknesses that you can heal. So, somewhere in your um, presentation, you said that um, uh, there's been different medical cannabis that have been have been mm -hmm. for about so we just wanted to know the different types that are there and the types of diseases that they can do and the research into it, including the stretch of the whole medical cannabis. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, so basically, uh, we have been, uh, African people have very good knowledge about the medicine plant and uh, they use it as medicine as, as, as and they have been using it for more than a thousand years. That's a very long time. Yes. So that means that they've got a very tested, scientifically tested knowledge about cannabis plants. The only difference is going to be just the method, or what methods they use vis-a-vis -vis what Western science methods use. And this, uh, and they are very different strains uh, because what happens is that uh, plants have, a, have this very interesting property. You can have a plant, the same plant that grows in the first state, another one grows in the west, right? They are exactly the same plant, same cannabis. But what's going to happen is that the one in the first state might, might be a different strain from the other one. So, for example, and that's one part of the reasons for the differences might have to do with the actual chemistry. For example, how much CBD is there? Because CBD is the non psychoactive, uh, you know. Phytochemical, phytochemical of cannabis, whereas THC is the one that gets people high in that sort of situation. So, so you find that another one, for example, might have more than twice, more than three times than the other one. So, because there are a lot of things that influence that the soil and the, the sunshine is very important. Sunshine is very important because cannabis uh, in a place that has got more sunshine, has more hot, will produce certain. Uh, uh, crystals that allow it to, to defend against the ultraviolet rays and that has an impact on the, on the chemistry of the disease. In terms of the number of, of the diseases that you can you can heal a lot of diseases. Uh, for example, uh, the most common disease that Africans use it for is respiratory related type of diseases uh, slash immune type of problems, you see. So somebody who's got, uh, like, like for example, uh, one of my Families, uh, member, members in the family, uh, they had this uh, respiratory, uh, respiratory infection that was there for a long time, and they took their uh, tablets from the hospital. It didn't, it didn't help them. So we decided to. So I said, no, let's use the matekwa. So so then we we, we, we do that. We, we, do, we use that, and we use. Uh, a heating uh, process to produce this uh, uh, medicine that we want to put water and then we cool the water and then we said okay drink about half a glass uh, and then uh, that person was cured just like that you are in that's the power of that that's why uh, when someone was asking a question and uh, saying and you don't tell i was saying that no you can't say something that's more than a thousand years of old is an encounter no you can't do that you know and there will be obvious differences in what happens, yeah. which is why I was talking about the research methods. So, looking deep into And then, so the other diseases to add there would be diabetes, for example. Uh, others will be cancer. Yes. Cancer is an yes. interesting yes. one, and tumors. Yes. Interesting one, because the, 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 the reason why there is a tumor is because the cell in there, uh, when it goes through the cell division process, uh, there is a message, signal, that will say to the cell, now is enough, you can stop. But for some reasons, the tumor cell is not so. It keeps on growing, you see. And, and the matekwa are able now to sensitize the cell to that message to say, no, you need to stop. And the cell stops. And that's a natural way of killing okay. the cells. Yes. So I realized that like... And even pain as well. So from what we are seeing, obviously from the management is that you are a research scientist and a director for the Manasebo University College. Is there any research you guys are currently doing now? Can we get ahead of our hands on the actual research so that we can look deep into what the medical community is, the specific things that we use for research? Okay. So
So basically, uh, in terms of the cannabis, uh, like we do have, we also have documentation. We have very extensive uh, indigenous medical materials from the school that I trained in. And then, but we haven't actually uh, digitized that, so it's not yet out to the public yet. But uh, we, most of our research so far that we've done at Manchester University College has been mostly on the on the research methods, the the indigenous uh, knowledge system, the indigenous science, the indigenous medicine. We have lots of research on that. We also do research also. We are not restricted to lesson medicine. We also do research also on cosmology. Uh, for example, the knowledge of the cosmos and the African knowledge of the stars. That, that sort of stuff. And the impact of uh, the knowledge of the stars and their lives. For example, there's a star called Sliman in English it would be Pleiades. That particular star system has an impact in terms of food production, agricultural. Yeah. And just before the Basutu New Year, which started in August, the, the Basutu will consult the star. And this star is a, it's actually a star system. There's actually about seven stars there. That I think is visible with the eye, but there's a more than that. And this particular star, they are able to look at the star and they are able to know that the season is going to be a dry season or it's going to be, a, a, we're going to have lots of rain, that sort of stuff. And if it's going to be a dry season, then they grow a drought and a resistant crops, like for example, Mabe. Mabele can survive water shortage, but pony, mead cannot survive. But mead is not indigenous. Yes, it was, it was planted by Jan van Riebeck in Cape Town. How about that? Because the purpose of them planting meat, sorry, meat, uh, maize corn, and then the four trekkers are the ones who spread it to north. The logic behind that was that Africans were resisting colonial conquests. So they felt that if we can change the environment, if we can change the food they eat, it will undermine their strength to resist, and we shall occupy them and the resistance. So to let people eat baba, they need soya meat. Yeah. But that's not indigenous. What is indigenous? Keep Papa Yamabe. Yes. So, yeah. so, so for some of our research, you can have uh, what books? Uh, we publish books. So, a number of books. We do something on the books. We've got a book called Sisutu Dictionary of Mathematics. Yes, yeah, yeah. You can get it through our, our, our office. And other books on African philosophy that are there. We've got books on the African cosmic genesis. So before we wrap up the interview, I just wanted to know about the extraction process of the medical cannabis. Yeah. How does that come about? How long does it take? What is it that needs to take into consideration during the extraction process? Yeah. Okay. So now, in terms of the extraction, uh, we look at the methods. Uh, because what we, what we are advocating for, as much as we call the college, is that as we move into the fourth industrial revolution, we shouldn't move the there with the black state. We should bring in our methods, our indigenous methods, which have been used. So we have different methods, uh, like for example, uh, what we call the distillation methods, essentially what we call uh, non-solvent uh, extraction methods, uh, you know, distillation, and uh, many other methods that they've been using, maceration, uh, you know, infusion, uh, decoction, and stuff. Like for example, in this case where I was talking about my family member who was very sick for a long time, uh, so as soon as I got from found out about that, and then we, we use the process of decoction uh, to create a medicine out of uh, cannabis plant to give to the person. You see, and then now we've got also modern uh, methods of extraction that uh, we want to educate Africans about, uh, because a lot of Africans who are in the cannabis uh, who are getting to cannabis. They, they are interested in buying these extraction machines, uh, but they need to know the science behind it, the chemistry behind it, so that they don't buy the wrong one. So in terms of extraction uh, machines with their technology, there is what we call CO2 extraction, which uses carbon dioxide as a, as a solvent. And then now, uh, because carbon dioxide is a gas, so what happens is that it has to be put under extreme pressure, so that carbon dioxide becomes a fluid. And it is this fluid that's going to then uh, crack the trichome and then use it to, to, uh, to extract, you know, inside the flavonoids, CBD, and stuff like that. And then there's also, of course, a CO, uh, sorry, uh, hydrocarbon, 
hydrocarbon to use things like a butane and stuff like butane. So hydrocarbon, what's interesting about it is that um, it uses less freight. It, the pressure is almost zero because it's about 100 psi compared to, uh, let's say, 3,000 psi on the, uh, on the, on the CO2 extraction. So it's, it's much better. And also another interesting thing about hydrocarbons is that they are almost like enzymes. So they have a lock and key connection with the, with the, with the phytochemicals, CBD, for example. They, they can extract very nicely. The limitation, of course, is, the, is how much, uh, is how much uh, output you can do. And then and the other one, of course, which we were talking about, is the ethanol. Uh, which uh, ethanol uh, is, is they are moving more towards that because it allows more yield. But it doesn't have that lock and key like the hydrocarbons. So this is why I was saying that Africans, this is a challenge for you, engineering challenge. Come and design new systems that will work for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.